This week at KSHB 41, we are asking you to help us with an important cause, Gift of Soul. It's our community campaign, and we're asking for monetary donations. We're going to take that money and buy sneakers for children whose parents may not be able to afford them. Now, the hope here is that a new pair of sneakers will improve children's self-esteem, and that can possibly impact their behavior, even their grades in school. Earlier this week, you heard from kids as they talked about teasing and bullying. Well, tonight, we're going to hear from the adults on what's, how what's on their feet has affected what's in their head. You know, confidence goes a long way, and with the right pair of shoes... You just think you run faster, you, you jump higher, you just think you're awesome. Earlier this week, we shared a conversation with teens about the importance of said shoes. You could tell by what shoes a person wears, what type of character they're giving off, what type of aesthetic they like. We played a portion of that for these adults. People get bullied over their shoes a lot. It's, it's really common. Yeah, if you ain't got the right shoes, you definitely um, will get made fun of. I was surprised at just the level of meanness just flat out gonna just bully somebody about their shoes. For me, man, <clears throat> I'm like those kids. Now he's in charge of those kids as KCPS superintendent. I was picked on. I got a pair of Jordashes in the eighth grade. My mom was supposed to get me a pair of Jordans and I came to school and the man, the man was dunking upside down. And I remember sitting down in Spanish and my pants went up and everybody saw that. You, when you talk about being bullied, and you, you just sitting there and you laughing about it because you, you don't want anybody to know your feelings are really hurt. And I remember that day to this day, man, how they just picked on my shoes. Markeela Phillips is a counselor at Lee A. Tolbert Community Academy. She's also seen the bullying and the name calling. We have a great need. We service a lot of homeless students at our school. We have kids that have come to school in football cleats um, because they've had holes in their shoes. Um, and then, of course, when you, you, when you start working with that family, you realize everybody needs shoes. You have kids who, you know, have come to school with holes in their shoes. And of of course, kids, you know, call them broke boy, broke boy, you know. I feel like everyone deserves one pair of shoes. That's a, that's our tagline. That's our slogan. A slogan Jaron Thornhill and KJ Farmer take to heart as owners of One Pair KC, where we had this discussion. You see, they employ teens who run the business operation. They set the prices for the shoes, shoes many of them at one point in time couldn't afford. And now they won't stop talking. At first, they wouldn't open their mouth because they didn't have the shoes. Fulfilling a need that extends beyond the classroom, as Sergeant Jake Bikina with KCPD explains. If they feel their needs are met, their basic needs, food, clothing, shelter, those things, then that may curb that desire or that thought that I need to go out and do some sort of criminal activity. Uh, that helps heal that whole society, that whole neighborhood. And while some of you may not be able to walk a mile in these kids' shoes, we're hoping you'll help give these kids shoes to walk a mile in. As evidenced by the adults in this room, it's something that will stick with them the rest of their lives. I think we're all kids, you know, at heart a little bit. And as a kid, you know, growing up, I remember I had, I had one pair, but you know, you, you put them on and you still you still feel that a little bit. Like when you when you slip them on, you still get that little feeling and, and uh, everybody deserves to feel that. A nice clean pair of shoes that a kid can go to school and be able to navigate through the community, navigate through those hallways and just feel confident that they don't have something where their toes are rubbing the ground and things like that. It's more than just a pair of shoes. It's, it's, it's far more than a pair of shoes and I, I just don't hope that people would underestimate that. You, you talking to somebody who's been, I'm scarred by that experience to this day. Scarred by it. Man, it's, pretty powerful. It's more than just a pair of shoes. It looked like he was a little emotional too. Yeah, I mean, people will remember these moments for the rest of their lives. Just something so small to us, his shoes is so big in one way to the kids. Let's do what we can for our kids, right? You can donate right now. Just text KSHB to 345-345. You can also donate on our website, KSHB.com. Your donation will benefit Big Brothers Big Sisters of Greater Kansas City and the Urban Ranger Corps of Kansas City.